Today we're venturing into the most mysterious places of our planet, where darkness reigns, pressure mounts, and life adapts in ways that seem almost otherworldly. We are talking about the deepest caves ever explored, where every step reveals a discovery that challenges what we thought we knew about life, geology, and even our planet's history. So strap on your headlamp and get ready to journey through 10 incredible discoveries from these extreme subterranean realms. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we are heading to Veriovkina Cave, the home to extreme microbial life. We are starting off with the world's deepest cave, Veriovkina Cave, nestled in the Arabica Massif of Abkhazia, Georgia. Down in its crushing depths over 2,200 meters below the surface, researchers have uncovered thriving communities of extremophilic bacteria. These microorganisms aren't your garden variety bugs, they live in near freezing, low oxygen conditions that would challenge even the hardiest surface life. What's fascinating is that these microbes share characteristics with those found around deep sea hydrothermal vents. Their unique enzymes can repair DNA damage caused by harsh chemicals, and they even metabolize minerals in ways we are just beginning to understand. Such discoveries not only expand our knowledge of Earth's resilience, but also hint at the possibility of similar life forms on other celestial bodies where extreme conditions prevail. In the same cave, explorers have encountered another surreal wonder, crystals that seem to glow from within. Deep in the cave's labyrinthine corridors, tiny mineral formations sparkle with an ethereal luminescence. This isn't bioluminescence from living organisms, it is the result of unusual geochemical reactions. Trace amounts of rare heavy metals like uranium and elements from the rare earth family interact with mineral rich drip water to create crystals that emit a soft otherworldly glow. These glowing speleothems aren't just eye candy, they are geological time capsules. Their slow growth rates mean that every delicate layer holds clues about the cave's environmental history, offering scientists a natural archive of earth's ancient climate shifts. Heading over to the Krubera Cave, also known as Veronia Cave, the second deepest in the world, researchers have made an exciting biological discovery. Deep within its dark passages, scientists uncovered a new species of troglobitic crustacean. These creatures are true denizens of the deep, blind, completely depigmented, and perfectly adapted to life without light. The newfound amphipods have evolved an uncanny ability to navigate using chemical cues rather than sight. Their delicate, elongated antennae act as sensory antennas, picking up subtle vibrations and chemical signals in the stagnant air and water. This discovery is a reminder that life can flourish in the most isolated, inhospitable environments, and it challenges our understanding of evolutionary adaptations in perpetual darkness. Krubera Cave is isn't just a biological wonder, it's also a geological treasure trove. Deep in its chambers, researchers have discovered massive speleothems, those stalagmites and stalactites you'd expect in any cave, that act as detailed climate diaries. Over millions of years, each layer of these mineral formations has recorded subtle shifts in temperature, humidity, and even volcanic activity. By analyzing the isotopic signatures trapped in these layers, scientists Scientists have pieced together a timeline of environmental changes that stretches back to ancient epochs. These climate archives help us understand not only the cave's formation, but also broader Earth processes, like glaciation cycles and tectonic shifts. In a way, each drip of calcite is like a page from a history book written by nature itself. Although not the deepest on Earth, Lechuguilla Cave in New Mexico is famous for its isolation and chemical uniqueness, making it one of the most intriguing subterranean systems. Discovered in the late 20th century, Lechuguilla is a veritable laboratory of exotic mineralogy. Inside, explorers have documented formations of rare secondary minerals, including striking gypsum roses, 
areas, and delicate and hydrate deposits. These formations have developed in an environment with extremely low organic content, allowing chemical processes to occur that you simply can't replicate on the surface. The cave's mineralogical diversity has not only shaped our understanding of subterranean geochemistry, but also provided a glimpse into the complex interplay between water, rock, and time. Adding to its chemical mystique, Lechugia Cave is home to isolated bacterial colonies that thrive in unusual conditions. High sulfur, low oxygen, and minimal nutrients. These bacteria have adapted so well that they're often compared to potential life forms on other planets. For instance, certain strains metabolize sulfur compounds in ways that generate bioactive molecules, which researchers are now studying for their potential pharmaceutical applications. The genetic makeup of these bacteria has revealed surprising similarities to organisms found in deep sea vents, and even hints at evolutionary links to ancient microbial communities. In this remote cave, life has found a way in the most unexpected, alien-like manner. Back in Varyovkina, explorers have also discovered isolated pools of water trapped within narrow passages and crevices. These deep water reservoirs are more than just static bodies of water, they are veritable time capsules. Sediments and mineral deposits collected from these pools contain a layered record of the cave's geological evolution. Scientists are now meticulously analyzing these sediments to reconstruct past environmental conditions. From shifts in water chemistry to evidence of ancient volcanic events, each sediment layer helps to piece together a detailed history of Earth's sub subterranean dynamics. This research not only deepens our understanding of cave formation, but also offers clues about broader geological processes that have shaped our planet over millennia. The waters in Krubera Cave have proven to be as mysterious as the creatures that inhabit its depths. A detailed analysis of water samples have revealed unique isotopic signatures, chemical fingerprints that hint at ancient hydrothermal events, and shifting groundwater patterns. These findings suggest that the cave's water system has been influenced by episodes of intense geothermal activity in the distant past. In turn, this has impacted the cave's mineral formations and the development of its unique ecosystems. By decoding these hydrogeochemical clues, scientists hope to better understand not only the history of Krubera, but also the interplay between Earth's internal heat and the evolution of subterranean life. When we compare Compare the discoveries in Varyovkina and Krubera, a fascinating pattern begins to emerge. Both caves serve as extreme laboratories. For evolution. In Varyovkina, the focus is on microbial ingenuity, organisms that have evolved sophisticated survival strategies in near total darkness and crushing pressure. Meanwhile, in Krubera, the evolution of troglobitic species, like the newly discovered crustacean, highlights how even multicellular organisms can adapt to an environment devoid of light and rich in chemical anomalies. These complementary discoveries underscore a profound truth. Despite their isolation, deep caves are not dead worlds, but thriving ecosystems, each with its own set of rules and evolutionary experiments. The lessons learned here are crucial for understanding how life might adapt in similarly extreme environments elsewhere in the universe. Perhaps the most exciting implication of these deep cave discoveries is their relevance to the search for life beyond Earth. The extreme conditions found in Varyovkina and Krubera era, low oxygen, high pressure, unusual chemical compositions are not unlike the environments we expect on moons like Europa or Enceladus. By studying the resilient life forms and unique mineral formations in these caves, scientists are better equipped to model what extraterrestrial ecosystems might look like. In effect, our planet's deepest recesses are serving as natural analogs for alien worlds. These insights not only expand and our understanding of life on Earth, but also fuel our curiosity and drive in the search for life elsewhere in the cosmos. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Livy Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.